I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about N-acetyl L-cysteine, or NAC, as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Now, NAC has been used to treat acetaminophen poisoning for decades. Every year there are over 56,000 emergency room visits in the U.S. from Tylenol overdose, resulting in at least 100 deaths. NAC provides the glutathione your liver needs to fight off the metabolite NAPQI in Tylenol that does a severe liver, liver damage. As a nootropic, NAC helps prevent glutamate toxicity, boosts dopamine, and reduces inflammation, oxidative, and free radical damage. Anacetyl L-cysteine, or NAC, is the anacetyl form of the naturally occurring amino acid L-cysteine. L-cysteine is naturally produced in your body using the amino acid methionine. You can also get L-cysteine from eating ricotta and cottage cheese, yogurt, pork, chicken, turkey, duck, wheat germ, granola, and oat flakes. But acute stress, illness, or poor diet can deplete L-cysteine levels in your body and brain. And the quickest and most efficient way to boost levels of L-cysteine is to supplement with NAC. NAC reg regulates the amount of glutamate in your brain. Glutamate is a neurotransmitter that is responsible for sending signals between neurons in the brain. This plays an important role in learning and forming memories. But too much glutamate can be toxic to brain cells. NAC regulates the amount of glutamate and keeps it at safe, healthy levels. NAC influences the amount of dopamine in your brain. It works to keep dopamine receptors healthy and able to transmit and receive dopamine. These neurotransmitters are critical for cognitive energy and drive motor control, feelings of pleasure and focus. NAC is a precursor to the powerful antioxidant glutathione. Glutathione is a potent anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and free radical scavenger. Your brain is especially vulnerable to inflammation, free radical, and oxidative damage. If left unchecked, inflammation and oxidative, oxidation and free radicals can negatively affect cognition, long-term potentiation, memory, and mood. As a nootropic, NAC can boost glutathione and dopamine levels in your brain. NAC is also used by uh, mental professionals to treat serious cognitive disorders like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, severe depression, and anxiety. Well, first, Anacetyl L-cysteine reduces oxidative stress. Oxidative stress results in free radical damage in brain cells, leading to neurodegeneration and ultimately Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and other age-related neuronal disorders. Proteins in DNA are injured. Inflammation causes tissue damage and cellular apoptosis, or cell death, are the result. And neurohackers are not immune to oxidative stress no matter what your age. Keep this in mind the next time you reach for a Diet Coke. Consumption of the artificial sweetener aspartame induces cortical inflammation and oxidative stress. Researchers did a study with 30 adult male Wistar rats, randomly divided into three groups. The control group received distilled water. The second group was given aspartame. And the third group was given aspartame along with NAC. Oral administration was done in the morning, every day for 30 days. The study found that NAC affected brain-derived nootropic factor levels, or BDNF levels. It blocked the COX-2 and PGE-2 inflammatory enzymes and reduced the expression of interleukin-6 and tum tumor necrosis factor A inflammatory cytokines in the rat cerebral cortex. They also found that NAC replenished glutathione levels. The researchers concluded that NAC prevented neurotoxicity, improved neuro neurological uh, function, 
suppress brain inflammation and oxidative stress response. So I guess the lesson is if you insist on drinking Diet Coke, make sure you be taking NAC. And the second way, N-acetylocysteine relieves depression. Major depressive disorder is one of the most common psychiatric, psychiatric disorders. It's a burden on the individual, to the family and the community. And the pharmaceutical companies are making literally billions on promote, selling various antidepressants, not treating the cause, producing a host of side effects, in most cases just dumbing down the symptoms. But the pipeline of new antidepressant drug discovery is at a near standstill for treating problems like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression, and common forms of autism. The good news is that neuroscience continues to work on the problem and has shown that many of these disorders share inflammation and oxidative stress as part of their disease physiology. Neuroscientists also discovered that associated pathways causing these diseases included reduction in proteins that stimulate, stimulate neuron growth, or neurotrophins, or increased apoptosis, and reduced, reduced energy generation in mitochondria. It turns out that NAC seems to have multiple effects on all of these pathways. NAC reduces the core symptoms of schizophrenia, reduces depression, and reduces cravings for a number of addictions, including cocaine, cannabis, and tobacco. n cysteine or NAC, is a slightly modified version of the sulfur-containing amino acid L-cysteine. When taken as a supplement, NAC replenishes an intracellular levels of the na this natural antioxidant glutathione restoring your cell's ability to fight damage from a reactive oxygen species. Conventional medicine has used NAC for decades as an inhaled mucus thinner to treat symptoms of cystic fibrosis. NAC is given intravenously or orally as a treatment for acute acetaminophen poisoning. NAC quickly restores glutathione levels, averting permanent disability or death. The nootropics community has recently discovered NAC as a way to suppress inflammation in the brain. NAC prevents oxidative stress in brain cells, eliminates free radicals, it restores brain-derived entropic factor, regenerates dopamine receptors, and improves overall cognitive function. NAC can help boost cognition, long-term potentiation for long-term memory formation, short-term and working memory, and improve your mood and quell anxiety. Neurohackers report that supplementing with NAC could be the best nootropic they've ever used for their brain and overall health. Comments include, thinking is clearer, there's less brain fog, memory improves, concentration and attention improve, less anxiety, less depression, less irritability, Mood improves like a clean high. Symptoms caused by ADHD meds disappear. Obsessive compulsive disorder decreases. Sleep quality improves. Energy levels increase. Weight maintenance is easier. You get less flu and colds. Skin looks younger and you feel younger. And, get this, hangovers are less severe. And naturally, we've got a lot of research available for n cysteine or NAC. I'm not going to go through the clinical studies here in this video, but if you'd like to see them, please go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for NAC, N-A-C, or click on the link below this video. You'll get taken to the full transcript of this video, and there you will see uh, clinical studies for n cysteine increases dopamine, I've got another study for N-acetyl L-cysteine repairs traumatic brain injury. I've got a clinical study for N-acetyl L-cysteine helps alleviate depression. And if you want to see those clinical studies again, just click on the link below this video. Go to the transcript and you'll see the clinical studies. 
N-acetyl-L-cysteine's suggested dosage for cognitive benefit is 600 milligrams three times a day. Clinical studies have found that doses up to 2,000 milligrams per day are safe and effective. And one German study showed the safety of 2,800 milligrams per day for three months in patients with cystic fibrosis. It was safe. It was safe. NAC has also proven effective against seasonal flu-like illnesses. One large study with older adults in Italy took 600 milligrams of NAC twice daily for six months. Only 25, or I'm sorry, 25% of those adults who used NAC experienced any kind of flu-like episodes compared to 75% of the placebo group. N-acetyl-L-cysteine, or NAC, is the N-acetyl form of the naturally occurring amino acid L-cysteine. NAC is considered non-toxic and very safe. NAC is a slightly modified version of the sulfur-containing amino acid L-cysteine, so NAC in powder form can have a bit of an unpleasant smell. Very rarely can NAC cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. Even more rare are rashes, fever, headache, drowsiness, low blood pressure, and liver problems. Side effects can be a result of very high doses of NAC. And if you have a genetic condition called cystinuria, do not use NAC. This rare condition causes stones to form in the kidney, urethra, urethra, urethra and bladder from cysteine. NAC is the N-acetyl form of cysteine. N-acetyl-L-cysteine is available in powder, tablet, and capsule form. This is NAC in tablets. NAC capsules and tablets are usually 1,000 milligrams, or 600 milligrams. This one is 1,000 milligrams. Some supplement makers add other compounds to the formula. So ensure you read the labels carefully and stick with manufacturers who follow good manufacturing practices and are GMP certified. So my nootropics expert recommendation for N-acetyl-L-cysteine or NAC is 600 milligrams three times a day. And that's my report on NAC. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for N-acetyl-L-cysteine or NAC or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using NAC, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions on Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos on all of the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.